Companies are set to lose a raft of allowances in the current financial year 2023-2024 in a move aimed to contain the country's ballooning wage bill. And as Elizabeth Ateno now reports, in the new salaries review, all state officers, apart from the president and his deputy, are expected to receive a salary increase. Take a look. In its latest review for the financial year 2023-2024, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission has scrapped retreat allowances, sitting in task force allowances for institutional committees. Phase one, which was implemented in the last financial year, three allowances ceased to be payable. These are plenary sitting allowances, ministerial allowance, uh, which resulted in an annual total cost saving of 1.7 billion and taxable car allowance resulting in a cost saving of 9.7 billion over a four year period. The daily subsistence allowances DSA has also been reviewed where allowances for local travels will not be payable for locations within 50 kilometer radius of respective duty stations for the affected state or public officers. Commuter allowance is being is this being reviewed? No. Uh, the reason is, is 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 a question about affordability. Yes, we do acknowledge that uh, cost of living will impact all, all, all elements of remuneration, um, including commuter. However, uh, we've been taken through the economic realities by the CS. State officers are projected to receive a salary increment of between 7 to 10 percent, which will be backdated to July 1st as the effective date. However, the president and his deputy's salary will be retained at 1.4 million and 1.3 million Kenya shillings, respectively. In 2022-23, we have received requests. We received requests of 8 billion and only approved 4.2, which is about 52 percent. The new salaries review, which has been allocated a whooping 21.7 billion Kenya shillings, has seen the teaching service receive the largest allocation at 9.5 billion Kenya shillings, followed by the uniformed and disciplined forces at 4.5 billion Kenya shillings. County governments are set to receive 4 billion Kenya shillings, while the civil service is set to receive 1.8 billion Kenya shillings. 21.7 billion is adding to the wage bill. So the whole issue is, can you afford it? Can the National Treasury afford it? You are adding to the, weight, to, to, to the total wage bill. The increase maintains the trajectory towards achieving the wage bill to revenue ratio of 35%. According to SRC, salaries for state corporations above the 50th percentile shall be retained, while those below will be raised so as to harmonize the country's salary structure to achieve equity and fairness in the public service. Thank you. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47. Right, interesting times, big, uh, big pay in these harsh economic times. Thank you, Elizabeth Atieno.